Good morning everybody, welcome back to a new vlog. This will be my first vlog since Bali and I have to preface this vlog with I I'm still so unwell. I don't ever want to discourage anyone from going. So I have to say like my gut in particular is so sensitive and we already knew this going into it, but really going to Bali is probably not for me. <laughs> I was not well in Bali as you will have seen if you watched the previous vlog, if you haven't, I'll link it if you do want to go and watch it. But yeah, it was, I did not have the best experience there and I haven't really been particularly well. It's just continued since coming back i've just still been really sick i honestly think that there might be some kind of like bacteria that upset my body in bali that is still in my body maybe working its way through and i am still not 100 percent so i'm not really feeling my best at the moment so do excuse me going forwards if i do seem a bit off that is why but today i'm going to pull myself out of sloth mode just a little bit i have my mother-in-law's to be's birthday dinner this afternoon so or this evening so need to like pull myself together the hair needs the hair needs wash so we're gonna give me some tlc this morning we're gonna just like perk me up and hopefully i will feel a bit better by looking a little bit more human i'm going to throw in a hair mask whilst i talk to you this is the Kerastase one that's basically for like anti-dandruff essentially I came back from Bali and not only was I sick but I have had like the driest skin we're gonna give me some real skin TLC today I'm actually quite puffy as well which is just yeah. but yeah my skin when we came back from Bali like I turned into like a flaky mess all over my face like I can still see it a little bit when I put on foundation like I look dry and i don't ever look dry when i put foundation on but my whole entire scalp as well has just been so dry so before i wash my hair we are going to put in a hair mask and just try and do the most like my scalp health is really important to me i honestly think it's one of the keys to healthy hair yeah it going very dry was quite concerning to me so i'm gonna throw this mask in normally i would use my l'oreal what one is it bond repair which is my kind of go-to week in week out but we're going to use this kerastase one i'll link it in case you guys want to try it out obviously i'm not feeling great in my body but i'm also not feeling <laughs> particularly nice appearance wise at the moment I, I think i just need to spend some time on myself like things have been so busy recently that i really haven't had the chance to take care of myself properly at all but once i am feeling better i think we're gonna have a little bit of a self-care overhaul if you will because i feel like i could just do with some real tlc but we're gonna give me like an express bit of tlc today to try and perk me up a little bit this is what it looks like anyone that's wondering now we're going to wash my face this is the cleanser that I'm going to be using. I wanted to use an oil-free cleanser. This is the Dior Lemus. I really like it for a quick and easy cleanse. It also smells so nice as well. I'm taking that off with a face halo. Okay, so my face is fresh and clean and now we're gonna do a little bit of de-puffing. My face has just been feeling so puffy lately and luckily I have the best device for de-puffing. This part of the video is going to contain a paid for integrated partnership with Current Body. I'm really excited to be working with them. Lots of you all know I love a little bit of like facial massage to depuff my face during lockdown. I was very big on that. So this is the New Face Mini facial toning device. And this has changed the game for me in terms of like getting my face depuffed. I see literally instant results. It is crazy. So this skincare device works on microcurrents. So it literally like, if you put it on a higher setting, like my, I don't know if my face is particularly sensitive to it, but you can like feel it working. But the results that I see when I use this are also so the microcurrent encourages your facial muscles to contract, which gives you an immediately like lifted and more youthful look to your skin. Like honestly, it's insane that like, you can use it to get like a brow lift. I love using it on this section of my face so that it like really makes my cheekbones pop and you can use it on your jawline as well, which I am a big fan of. I find it's so effective at like giving me a cheekbone and I'm a big, big fan of that. And apparently the microcurrent also tells your cells to produce more collagen as well. Magical. 
it really is a little piece of magic. So the way I like to use it at the moment is I'm using it daily for around like five minutes, sometimes even less, depending on if I get the desired result. I'm using it five times a week. It has three different settings that you can toggle between the intensity of and you basically like keep it on your skin and then it will beep and then you like, you know, do it again and it will beep and then you move it again and then it will beep. A bit like an electric toothbrush. It kind of tells you when to like stop and move on. And you use it with the hydrating aqua gel. So it has a little kind of a squishy down top and you just squish. I use the whole amount that comes out and do one area of the face. You want your face to be like super covered in the gel. Otherwise you are kind of gonna feel a little bit more of the sensation coming off of this. So I like to use the full amount, use it all over the area and then use this over the top. I start on the lowest intensity and then work my way up. So I've got a whole bit of gel on my skin and I just, work it in, work it all over the face. Once you're done, you can like rub this in as well. I start at the top. And then we move down. And you can increase the intensity as well. And I don't know if you can see, like I, it is, amazing i need to show you straight on so you can see the difference in each side of my face it is crazy look like that is insane like i don't know if you can see as well i get a bit of i don't know what to call it like there's always a little bit of skin that i can kind of get a shadow with here i do not have this on this side of my face it's it is crazy so this is my current depuffing routine. I have been blown away by it. I need to do the other side of my face because I cannot be going out with a mismatched one side chiseled face, one side not chiseled. That's not on the agenda for today. But before I carry on, I actually have a code for this. So normally this retails for £184, but you can currently get it for £99 if you use my code, which is SUSIENF, all in one. I will pop it on the screen for you. If you use that, you'll get it for £99. I believe if... It has changed because sometimes the Black Friday offers this time of the year, they change a little bit. If it has changed, I will pop it on the screen for you guys. But anyway, let's do the other side of my face because we cannot be going out with only half my face deep off. That is not okay. It's also worth noting that some people feel a sensation when they do this and some people don't. I do on the highest setting, but apart from that, nothing. So... Also, this is both your on off button, but also you can toggle between the intensities. So as you can see at the moment, I've got it on the second intensity, but if I want to put it up to the highest, I press this button and it will go over to this side. And then if I press it again, it will go to the lowest intensity. And then if you hold it, if you hold it, it will turn up. I find it really hard to do because my nails are so long. Just going to finish off by doing my forehead. There we go. Look at that jawline. Yeah, honestly, it is so magical. I don't really get how it works, but I am not complaining. It just makes my forehead so, like, it looks so much tighter, even though I obviously tend to it myself in other ways. It's magical. I'm really excited to try the, like, red light that they have as well. I also got that from Current Body, and I know Vic uses hers all the time, and she loves it, so I am so excited to try it. I've seen it all over TikTok, and... I'm obsessed. But anyway, I need to get in the shower and wash my hair. I have also got to try, in addition to trying to make myself feel a bit more human this afternoon, I also have so much wedding album to do. I'm really behind on that after going to Bali, so that really needs cracking on with. We have the UK wedding that I need to plan. I think I've found where I want to have it, so I just need to kind of do some admin around that. I actually did have a lot of questions on, lots of people were like, UK wedding like what do you mean but basically we're getting married abroad but it's in a country where you can't so there are some countries where you can have like a legal ceremony or you can have your documents like translated when you get back into the UK that's it as I understand it I could be wrong but there are certain countries where you can't like 
legally get married so you have to sign your papers and all of that stuff still in the uk and then you go and have your blessing abroad so when i say uk wedding that is why so we are kind of doubling up a little bit but anyway yeah that is what i am up to this afternoon i also need to prep some bits for my next wedding fitting wedding fitting wedding dress fitting which i'm so excited about the next one amelia and victoria are coming with me too and i'm just so i'm so so excited on that note i actually did go wedding dress shopping before we left for Bali. I went to a different, I'm trying out lots of different stores at the moment, just trying to figure out what I like, what suits me, trying, literally trying everything on. So I went with my mum and with Lauren and I actually have so much vlog footage from that. So whilst I hop in the shower, you can watch me try on wedding dresses. Also, please excuse my hair at the start of it because I can't believe my mum was vlogging me and she didn't tell me my hair was starting to, like my bum was falling out. So it just looks ridiculous but i do fix it so if it's bugging you at the start just know that i fix it in like three minutes in anyway i'm gonna go get in the shower now bye here she is oh i'm so glad i changed my jacket we would have actually been matching oh i picked up this new jacket this morning it's nice i would have smells beautiful i would have fully matched you I was wearing a long black coat. Aww. It's like same material. That would have been really embarrassing. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. So this was the style dress. This is quite classic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One, four of these actually. Yes. I remember this one. This one's gorgeous. Yes. Obviously one of my favourite. Yeah. I love it so much. This was one of the ones that you'd sent. This one's called Tuna. Wow. I think on the website it might be pictured in ivory. It's one yeah. that's a bit different. Yeah, I love this. It's, it's a fun amazing. dress. It's a really fun dress. And this was the Persian dress and something a bit more fitted. Mm. And it's got the overskirt as well, so I'm not sure if you wanted to try that oh. too. So it's like yeah, a line added extra. Yeah, this is so beautiful. And this one. Yeah, again, fitted. Love that. Really, really, nice. really gorgeous. Yeah, just it's such a classic. Yeah, it feels really nice as well. Actually. My kids just have a read through. Of course, you can. The others and just. I did this with the last yeah, no, store and okay. just found a few that I was like, oh, I love just flowers. I think on you're this really one. gonna like this one, Mum. Looks beautiful. It's like the one that you cried at, but it's got a little bit more detail. Okay. We're we trying to get some tears out, Mum. No, it's like I actually don't enjoy, enjoy making my mum cry. It's just it was quite. A, I think it's quite telling when people cry, but I'm not letting it dictate. Anything. Hello! Hello, Hello Ron! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Are you ready? I am ready. Sorry. Oh, this one is nice, huh? Ooh, wow. So it's got a bit of a train, but it's a bit lighter because when you have a mm. fitting dress, you can't really have way too much just because it'll pull at the front. Yeah. I love it. Let's see the back. I really like this one. I'm not sure I was going to like it. Definitely isn't um, friendly. I think it's kind of that crepe fabric. It's mm. very tight across here, yeah. which is definitely number one most complained about area. <laughs> I'd say every single person. <laughs> You'll be fluffing this a lot. I will be. It's What's quite that? easy with this one because it's just one piece of fabric. You don't need to get all the layers together, so you can just up and down, let go before it hits the floor. Yeah. And then it tends to kind of. Oh, I love a veil. That's the prettiest hair. Beautiful. I really like this dress actually. I really like it. It's really absolutely gorgeous. I really like it with the long veil. Yeah. yeah. I think a dress like this has to, yeah, have a veil. Try something else? Yeah. Yeah. Wowie, huh? I love this. It's a bit of a different shape to the last mm. one. It's very sparkly. Yeah. It's very sparkly, but you can't see it. Oh my yeah. Trying not to make ugly faces, but it's so pretty <laughs> that I'm still making ugly faces. <laughs> wow. I love the back of it. I just find it's not picking up sparkles. It's giving yeah. twilight. <laughs> <laughs> it's stunning. I just feel like for the venue, it would really work. Yeah. Do you want to try like a maybe wow. a shorter veil with this one? Yeah. Just for styling? Yeah. Comes just here, so you've still got that look. Yeah, but isn't going to cover on the train. Yeah, I do. I see. Mm. It's got enough, hasn't it? Yeah. Already. Yeah, because otherwise you are covering up like the sparkle. And then yeah, that's, mm. that's a real shame. Oh, the back. Oh. It's got bow. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> I want to 
I love the way that puffed out at the front then. I love the way this moves. Because it's like thicker. Yeah, it yeah. is quite heavy. I feel like you could feel it when you picked it up. Mm. It has got a bit of weight to it, but it does mean that it really stays in place quite nicely yeah. and moves really well. I really like that. It's a proper princess diaries, princess dress. Welcome so to Genovia. So it hooks up. Oh, oh my god, that's so oh cute. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Wait, that's so clever. Really How do people clever, think of it? this stuff? I wish I could say that it was my idea. <laughs> you should. Just take the credit. <laughs> no one will know. So then the dress is the same length. Wow, wow. wee, ha. Huh? And I was gonna step on it in the <laughs> like that. Oh, I love that. I really love that. And it's nice because it's still simple, but it's just got like a bit of fun on the back. I love a classic dress. It's like, I'm a grown up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> That's pretty much me sometimes. <laughs> Should we try this one with a veil? Yes. Yeah. Mm. I love this. It's gorgeous. Yeah. This is a nice hybrid of what I like and what you like. Yeah. I really like the way it moves. Yeah. It's really nice. So this one's like a two-looking one kind of thing. So this is the fitted version. And then we've got the overskirt to try on as well. Oh, the detail in that is beautiful. I really like, we've pinned in the arms. So they're slightly so they're longer. They long, but they're still right I really thin. like those. Oh, it's like a white Morticia dress. <laughs> From the Adams Perfect family. <laughs> family. <laughs> it is really sparkly, isn't it? But you can't see it until you move yeah, this is gorgeous should we try the overskirt on this is quite heavy that's fine so do you need some help like stepping in we step in <laughs> elbow feet in yeah and then what we're going to stuff the dress in and then i'm going to pull it up bridesmaids will be training <laughs> yeah pick this dress <laughs> that with sympathy cards making sense <laughs> Mum's thinking, nah, I'm not stuffing that. <laughs> oh my god. No, there's too many layers. Think of my back. <laughs> You've got four bright legs. Yeah, that's very true. Don't <laughs> oh, worry, get going. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bed sheet, that's the only way I can describe it. Oh, oh my god. Down like a bed sheet and then let that go. Wow. There we go. It's gorgeous. This is unreal. Sorry, yeah, it's I'm amazing. Coming coming on, isn't it? I feel like it definitely, if you wanted both looks, it would definitely be this for the ceremony. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely something to bear in mind with some of the dresses. Of, mm. Do I feel like I can wear this one day? Oh, yeah. Woo! I really like it, but I think I like it because of the material. Mm -hmm. So I prefer, is it similar material to the bow? Yeah. Yeah, so then I prefer the so bow one. Like satin. Isn't it satin? Yeah. yeah. So you got the split? Yeah. Yeah, it's like similar to Ooh. that one you tried on last week. But... <laughs> oh. yeah, I should have got my heels. I, that was yeah. the one thing I regretted last week. When I tried on that dress with the slit, it looked really bad because it was... Okay. It didn't even have any yeah. Of this, so it was just... Yeah. And you could just see my little feet. Mm. Yeah. Pulling along. I just wish this had more under the skirt. Really you can fun. add that, can't you? I don't know, because it's got the Oh, because it's got the so, slip. Yeah, I love this kind of... It's very fashionable, yeah. your, your body shape. Favourite, I think. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> this is so nice. Yeah, I said that is one of my favourites. It's so pretty. But for the size of it as well, it's quite lightweight. Mm. Mm. No, this is... Perfect. I this, really like the skirt. This is really similar to the last one I tried on in the last shop. Yes, it is. But this is kind of it's just a little bit. Oh no, I don't know. I was set on the bow. <laughs> because I didn't actually think I would prefer satin, but I do really like that heavier material, but I love this skirt. Babe so far? Yeah, I think so actually. Oh, yeah, but it's just got some sparkle throughout. Oh, that no, see, that is beautiful. <laughs> I'm a fan. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm a fan. No, I'm a fan. <laughs> oh, interesting. Wow. Yeah, she's a big one. She's a big one. <laughs> wow. I really love that. 
Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Love the top. Oh, that sparkles. Kate Middleton got married or something like that. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah. 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 Definitely looks royal. Yeah. Just love a veil. Sometimes yeah. I think I should just wear veils. To, yeah. I do to, You know? <laughs> do you want to walk around the shop in a veil? I would. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <laughs> just normal clothes and a veil. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I love the little arms. Yes, yeah, same. Absolutely adorable. It's what really beautiful. That's really nice. I really like the arms, actually. Oh, yeah, where oh, it goes. Wow, from the back, with yeah. that really shape. I think it might just be a little bit young for me, but it's really lovely. Young for you? Yeah, but it just feels like maybe it's the sweetheart neckline because quite it's the girliness. I do know what you mean. I really like the shape. This is a very safe option. I, I think everyone yeah. would feel nice in this. Whoa. Wow, I mean, that is a beautiful dress. I actually really like the body on that. Mm. It's very flattering. Wow, I love this. Can I see this with a veil? Yep. You know, it's you know it's good when the mic needs needs veil. Is it pink? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah, so it's got a blush undertone with the ivory lace on top. Oh, okay. So that what that's what makes it very subtle. Mm. Yeah. It's really beautiful. I really love this. When when we put it on, I was like, okay. Yeah. I didn't realise how far out the train. This is a lot of, like when I'm up close to the mirror I don't love this one but fur, from further back it's yeah. We try it with the overskirt. Yeah. yeah. This one's a little bit easier, I can just put this one over your head. Oh wow. Perfect. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. It's very, very different. Yeah. I don't love it. I don't think this will be one of the ones for me. I think because I'm short, it's just a little bit too much on me as well. It was too much. It just swallows your arm. Yeah. Try something else? Yeah. Ooh. Wait, I really like that. Yeah, so do I. So this is similar to the one that made Mum yeah. cry last time. What was she different? Tell by the look. <laughs> yeah, the top was plain, didn't have flowery bits, but that is absolutely mm. gorgeous. That's stunning. I felt like this was a bit of a blend between what you like and what I like. Yeah. Oh, I really like it. It's just got a little bit more of a romantic yeah, yeah. feel about it. It's got soft feel to it. I do think classic really suits you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know it's got the little detail, but it's still very... It's very classic. Mm. Yeah, it's cute. I like this better than the other one. So that is the wedding dress saga so far. Those are all of the ones that I tried on. I have to be honest, I think I tried on a bit too much of a range. I loved so many that just wouldn't be particularly appropriate for an abroad wedding destination. I think I've shot myself in the foot a little bit with an abroad wedding idea because I do love a long sleeve. Just in general, I love it and even more so on a wedding dress. So <laughs> I'm a little bit sad that that's probably not going to be on the cards for me now. I had yet another gorgeous experience with something fitted though, which keeps surprising me to be honest and yet another great experience with something that's like a very swishy kind of heavy full satin kind of material i really do love that i love the way i feel in it however when i look back at anything that's just like a full plain satin i just never feel like it looks particularly special on me like i love i love it on everyone else but i'm just not sure and i think i'm at the point which a few of my friends have told me about where i just feel potentially a little bit more overwhelmed but i do think this is a good point to be at because what i really didn't want to do is rush in pick a dress and then regret that later and wish that i'd picked something else also not sure if i should share them with you guys to be honest i mean i could be really shooting myself in the foot because I think sometimes too much feedback is not great. It's too fun not to share. Okay, I've just been given the hour countdown for dinner. I didn't realize that it was going to be this soon. So I'm gonna go 
very quickly get ready and I'm actually going to be back with you tomorrow I think because I'm just feeling absolutely horrendous. I just really wanted to check in with you today to debrief from the wedding footage I had because I didn't really get the chance to like fully vlog that whole day which I was really sad about so I wanted to like fully debrief with you as much as possible but that is going to be it from me this evening. I'll be back with you at some point. Bye. Hello, it is Monday. I have just finished filming the biggest new into my wardrobe autumn winter haul. There's a lot of knitwear, some basics, there's new shoes, there's new jewellery. It's a good haul if I do say so myself. You will be seeing it on Wednesday. This cute little cardigan i'll show you in full in a second is going to be included in it and there is a discount code black friday is really black fridaying this year run do not walk for this this cardigan because it is unreal we need to do some beauty prep for tomorrow very very shortly because i need to get tan on asap i also need to sort out my <laughs> upper lip hair because it's probably ruined wednesday's video like it's all i see but you know when you just don't have the energy i need to muster the energy to start like self caring for myself in a beauty capacity because it makes all the difference like me de-puffing my face yesterday maybe feel so much nicer but right now i just at the moment like do you guys have this where sometimes you just don't have the mental capacity for like beauty like putting makeup on this morning i was like oh i'm away that a lot this week so we need to like beauty prep that is what we are going to do shortly however first we need to we need to tackle this but yeah i'm gonna show you the cardigan first because it's so cute so obsessed with so yeah this will be in a video come wednesday i'm not gonna link it in this video i'm just letting you know that it is coming and it will be linked but there's a discount code so you are not going to want to miss out on it anyway let's sort this room out Back where you belong, eh? I said. <laughs> okay, let's get ready to rumble slash tan. I have been so slack on the tanning routine lately. It's a real like factor in how I feel about myself. Rightly or wrongly, I think that is the case. So I've got a busy week ahead, I need to feel tip top, so we're gonna tan. I'm gonna be using the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express Bronzing Mousse. This one I don't normally use, as you can probably tell i've just taken the plastic off of it however this is all i have left there is like a hierarchy in my world of saint tropez tans the purity gel i love i just it takes a lot longer to develop and you have to leave it on the skin for a lot longer whereas the whipped mousse is like super fast to develop and the tan is so deep and so good this is like you leave this on the skin for not very long which is unreal but it's a lot more subtle if you are a little bit fairer this is ideal but anyway this has actually worked out very well for me because i don't have to leave it on for very long and i don't have a lot of time today so this week is all going to be like lovely things that really like fill my cup to use that very cringe little phrase i'm dead excited for it okay so that is my arms done and that's about as much as i can show you guys of my tanning process right now without being in the nude i'm gonna do the rest i'll be back the tan is on i am in my robe i have made a rookie mistake i should have taken my makeup off and also bleached my mustache before doing this now i have to wait like three hours in order to do that so however i have just remembered i need to paint my toenails, so I'm going to use my favourite nail polish. This is just a regular nail polish by Peachy. This is the shade Brunette. This also comes in a gel colour as well. And this is my go-to at the moment. Brunette is literally the most stunning brown and it just looks so nice with my skin tone. I'm going to show you on my thumb because this is not an OnlyFans account and you guys don't need to see my feet up close, but I want to show you this colour. It's the most stunning brown that's not too dark a brown it's just like that perfect dairy milk chocolate kind of brown i'm obsessed with it so that is going to go on my toes i need to go and take this off now but i just love the color so much stunning and that is going to be me waddling around the house for the foreseeable trying not to touch any toe or limb onto a wall but i'm excited for tomorrow morning to feel like fresh and glowy and just oh but anyway that is gonna be it for me today i feel like we've spent a lot of time 
in this bathroom in this vlog it's just one of those vlogs i really needed like a self-care moment so i hope you enjoyed it joining me i hope you enjoyed seeing the wedding dresses that i tried on recently finally before i go if you made it to the end i would love to know i need recommendations on like beauty treatments that you would recommend in the run-up to getting married like i want to start forward thinking about this like if there's anything that i need to start doing kind of further in advance i would love to know like what beauty treatments did you do in the run-up to getting married is there anything you would really recommend anything you really wouldn't recommend please let me know anyway that is going to be it from me in this vlog i love you all so much and i'll see you guys again very very soon bye